join us today. Today we're going to tell you about growing more than one pumpkin on a plant. This is for the new grower who doesn't want to spend a ton of money. Maybe you want to spend less than $100 on nutrients to feed your pumpkin. We're going to show you growing four, four to five different pumpkins on a plant. We're going to show you a little bit about foiler feeding and we're going to show you about insects, affordable ways to eliminate the insects. This is really video is for the guy who can't figure out why can't I get pumpkins to the end of the season? What am I doing wrong? This video is for you. Please join us. This is what I'm foiler feeding right now. I am foiler feeding. I have this fertilizer. I'm just not wanting to spend money. So this isn't the best thing to use this time of year, but it's a general hydroponics water soluble fertilizer. I dumped it in this jar. I believe it's a 510. I wrote it on here somewhere. Oh, there you go. It's a 10, 11. 10, 5, 11. So that way they're getting some nitrogen some phosphorus, some potassium. I had a little more phosphorus. I got raw amino acids if I want to do amino acids. You also got your humic and fulvic, put a little dash of that in there. And I know I'm low on manganese and sulfur. So here's my manganese and sulfur to try to balance out the plant. I'm having to do it with the blower to keep the plant somewhat balanced because we're getting so much rain we don't have to water. So sometimes that's not a good thing. You're better off without the rain and, and do your own watering. I am using my meter and I'm keeping the parts per million when I foliar feed under 300. I like to keep it between 200 and 300 so I'm not burning leaves. And foliar feed about twice a week if the rains will stop. And I also, for protection, I used, uh, well, I have also foliar fed this for bugs. Talstar. Talstar for insects. This is great too, if you decide to buy, this is bimethrin, bimethrin, $12 word for Bubba. These are awesome. If you've got heavy mosquitoes, you can spray the woods, but wear a mask, spray the woods and cut down on the mosquitoes. I haven't done that here. I'm not spending much outside, but you can get this at Tractor Supply. It's not very expensive for treating for bugs. Let's see what else I have in my little kitty here. I have uh, seven. I always carry a jar of seven. This is great when you run into bees' nests. You can wipe out a bees' nest in a hurry. Um, check out Bubba's Botox. I got the Botox lip this year, stung in the face. Epsom salts, if your plants aren't real green, you might want to hit them one tablespoon of Epsom salt per gallon of water. It's an awesome thing to do. You could do that every couple of weeks all summer long. You won't burn your plant. One tablespoon per gallon, you can put 20 tablespoons and 20 gallons, water it in around, and don't dump, for new growers, don't dump everything at the stump. The roots are out three, four, five, eight feet from the stump. Water the entire area. Keep your stump dry. That's another video. And we got the humic fulvic. Ronnie Wallace, if you're wanting to spend a little bit more money, go see Ronnie Wallace. Wow, organic products. Ronnie sells great stuff. And he's a big giver. He gives out lots of prizes. Here's your amino acids if you want to get seaweed powder. If it has kelp in it, it contains amino acids. I'm pretty sure that's true 100% of the time. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there's your amino acids. If you don't want to buy the raw, you can buy some of this from Ronnie and get your amino acids. Great for foiler feeding, great for watering. Um, I'll tell you a little secret. Al Eaton. Al Eaton grew a world record long gourd back about five, six, seven years ago. It was like 138 inches or 140, 140 inch world record. And he put a trickle feed of humic acid in every watering through the year. All right, so there you go. There you have it, I don't wanna to get too complicated. This is for new growers. You can use a simple fertilizer, but keep the bugs off the plant. Here's my steel. Now Moby Mike showed a video where he showed the inside of his shed. I think this is a little bit better than that one. But hey, here's my steel blower, mist blower. Now I was saying you could actually make one of these. You could attach a gallon jug to a regular leaf blower and make that happen. But this is what I use 
holds two and a half gallons. This is an SR 200. There's the new growth out there. 10 liter tank. All right, it's awesome. But if you don't want to spend $500, those are $500 of steel. If you don't want to spend $500, then you can actually become a MacGyver. If you remember the old MacGyver, if you're young and you don't know who MacGyver is, Google it. You'll pull up MacGyver. He could take a match and a nickel, and uh, with a match and a nickel, he could drive you across the country. He was amazing, MacGyver. Okay. Here we go, man. I'm going to show you what I put in there. I'm thinking the it's blower. time to feed those young new growth. The pumpkin is stealing all the nutrients, and the new growth is getting hardly anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and feed this. I, th I saw this product. I liked it, and I'm going to try this. What we have here is 390 parts per million. That's too strong for foiler. So I will take this gallon, and I'll add another gallon. I'll dilute it in half knocking it down to, should knock it down to like 190, 190. And I will foiler spray that on the leaves, the new growth mostly with my blower. So that's a two and a half gallon tank. I'll dilute it down probably two and a half gallons. So it'll be even weaker than that. It's gonna be. All right, I just did an estimate on the pumpkin and it's coming in at about 434 pounds. Boy, my eyes look bigger than, I thought it was bigger than that. So we'll cut anyway. off circulation to the fruit. Not good. All right, so we got this pumpkin here. Now let's go over and see the melons. The watermelons. Everything's grown back so nicely. If you look at this, it's crazy. I'll step through the vines here. Yes, I'm walking on my soil because we're not at the champion level. Here's the old plant. If you look at the old plant, look at the weeds. I got to get in here and get these weeds out of here before they go to seed. You don't want to let the weeds go to seed. Never let the seed hit the ground. That'll be all weeds growing for next year. So we wait over here. So that's a priority let's check on this i covered this up for rocky raccoon last night keeping an eye on the split on the watermelon it's doing pretty good haven't measured it yet but this is what the raccoon did there's rocky scissor hand fingernails from the raccoon the one night i leave the gate open the raccoon comes in and uncovers the fruit I've never seen him uncover a fruit before. This is a first for me. Chris Kent says I jinxed myself. Here's the second pumpkin. The second pumpkin. I'm going to let him air out a little bit today. Everything's so wet. All right, so here's our number two pumpkin. This is the one we're going to take to the state fair. we got sand around the base. I notice here we have a little bee. Hello, Mr. Bee. How are you? Anyways, I think this is pretty cool. We're going to gift this to the state fair this pumpkin's probably i don't know 175 pounds it's still got another five days to grow and then if you just go over here a little bit oh hi mr b the bees don't really bother me the bumblebees it's the yellow jackets that terrify me and make me have botox face there's macy's pumpkin probably looking here at i don't know 80 to 100 pounds right now macy i'll probably spray paint them orange and then if we go back, farther back, if you remember, we had three pumpkins back here in the last video. For Ben, the for Ben pumpkin, it, I came out and it was deteriorated. Oh no, okay, yeah, no, this pumpkin has stopped growing. We'll do a finger test to be sure. Yeah, yeah, I think this pumpkin has stopped growing. Yep, it's all done. So that's how you know right there, folks. So I removed it. And that's the way it is. Here, sometimes you lose them, sometimes they rot. Here is Graham's, Graham's pumpkin, my three-year-old grandson, Graham, that we had deadheaded, if you remember in the last video. 
So actually we're down to, uh, this is pumpkin number four. Macy's is three. The one for the state fair is two. We're, we got four pumpkins going right now. But I don't know if some more won't pop up before it's over. It's uh, August 26th today. All right, so here we go. That's pretty much the tour of growing four pumpkins on one plant. And you saw the big one. Just slide it back today to get the kink out of the vine. And that's uh, almost 500 Any of my grandkids, that. what's the worst thing about bugs? They'll tell you, they bug you, Grandpa. That's right. That's right. I taught them all that. So, hey, um, you got to keep the bugs off the plants. You got squash, vine borers, cucumber beetles. We didn't have a buggy this buggy year this year. We didn't have a lot of bugs for some reason. I haven't even seen a cucumber beetle yet, and it's the end of August. We're coming up on the end of August. That's crazy. Never heard of such a thing. But in other regions, you may have the cucumber beetles. They will give your plants disease. They'll knock them down. If you don't have plants now, they probably got consumed by the cucumber beetles back in early June. They arrive typically, depending on where you live. All right, so you want to work on bugs, insect control, bugs. Sorry about the lighting right now. It's going to be 90 today. I'm doing this video early to try to get out of the sun. You got seven dust. If you have a seven duster, seven should be applied with a duster. If you're going to use seven dust, you buy a duster. You can use liquid seven, but you got to stay after. I hate recommending chemicals because if they're misused, they are a hazard. They need to be properly used. Wear masks, long sleeves, shirts. Do it right, folks. Don't expose your lungs and, and yourself to a bunch of nasty chemicals. Stay protected. Take a shower when you're done. Wash the clothes. Keep the dogs and children away from the chemicals. All right. But if you don't stay up on top of the insects, you're probably not going to get to the end of the season. If you want to go organically, you can use neem oil. There's a lot of ways to go. You can go out there and pick the bugs. The squash vine borer will be buzzing around at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Come out here. And if you've got squash vine borers, they're buzzing around like a little red wasp. And they'll quickly, they dart around and they land on the plant. And they'll get down and they're real slow moving when they're crawling on the vines. They're real slow moving. And you can actually swat them with a the fly swatter. If you're fast, you can sneak up on them and whap. I've actually grabbed one with my hand before. You've got to be fast, grasshopper. Grab this SVB grasshopper. All right. So there's a lot of different ways. But if you're not keeping up with the bugs, they will win. All right. All right. So much for this. Any questions, comments, ask below. And uh, if you don't can't ask a question, open a Google email account so that you can comment on the videos. All right, I'll thank you. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this helps. Growing, trying to grow five, four, five, six. You could grow more on one of these big monster plants. You could grow ten big porch pumpkins on one plant with some of them hitting five, six, seven hundred pounds. All right, keep them growing.